This is a quick overview of a MSR simmer light that has been converted to run on alcohol, denatured alcohol, or 190 proof uh, grain alcohol or Everclear. Um, this has a jet in it. I call it a nipple jet. Uh, this is hand turned on a lathe, uh, machine cut threads. Um, it's quarter 40 TPI, uh, the jet is, and uh, I don't know that the nipple helps or not, but it may. It's uh, similar to this jet here. That uh, This is a one millimeter, this is a .95 millimeter. Um, I originally started um, with a 0.8 millimeter by uh, general suggestion by people that were converting whisper lights to run on uh, alcohol. They were running a 0.8 millimeter or a 1 seconds uh, drill. They drill the, uh, the jet out to 1 seconds, which is uh, 0 .79, 0 0.79 something and change millimeter. Um, the 0.8 millimeter allows you to burn alcohol on this stove and from what I've seen the whisper lights but the flame is not real real robust and it's not real uh, real you don't have a lot of control over the flame and that's due to the fact that these holes here is your air intake for this system and uh, white gas apparently has a higher ratio of air to uh, uh, gas ratio to burn so with alcohol you need more fuel to be added to that air system now there's two ways to combat that one way is to open up the jet which pushes more fuel or some guys have also used a, a what I call a dampener system this is a sleeve with a hole in it and they put it in here and then they're able to turn it and adjust it to regulate the airflow um, now that's with a standard jet. If you used to use a standard white gas jet, guys have used this system. And what it does it dampers down the air so it get a, the, the correct ratio. The problem with that is this damper system literally chokes your 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 uh, your stove off. Not st off. It, it reduces your uh, your ability to burn your overall BTU rates. Um, so though you get your stove to be able to run properly on alcohol, you've just negated that by increasing your burn time at least in my opinion that that's a negative like it doesn't really help you um, so the only way to do that effectively is by altering this jet so 0.9 worked pretty good 0.95 worked the best and um, one millimeter uh, it worked pretty good but it was starting to go the other way to where you didn't have enough air to fuel um, you had full range of your valve at that point but your your boil times um, were were reduced or well increased a little bit so two cups of water in standard conditions you know 50 55 degree water tap water um, you could get uh, with this system with a 0.95 you could get boil uh, two cups of water to boil in two minutes and ten seconds which is pretty fast it's actually really fast that's a full-on boil 212 you know not 165 now MSR's website, I don't know how they figure their boil times. I don't know if their boil times are based on 165 degrees. You know, a lot of people say that 165 degrees, you know, that uh, fish eye boil, pin, pin, pin boil, whatever they call it, um, is enough to make your water drinkable in most situations. So I don't know, because uh, MSR's website will tell you that you can boil a liter of water in 3.4, 3.5 minutes. I have never seen that ever in, in any situation that I've ever been in. I've never gotten a liter of water to boil in three and a half minutes with any fuel system. This system with alcohol will do a liter of water in just over four minutes. Um, so like I said, I, I don't know how MSR figures their, their boil times. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a fuel test run. We have eight ounces of alcohol in this graduated cylinder 
fuel bottle. I'm going to transfer that into uh, my fuel bottle. Um, I'm going to run the stove. I currently have water setting out in the snowbank, so we'll check what this and, and and the pan that I'm using. It's a stainless steel pan. I found that the stainless steel pan seems to transfer the, the heat better. Uh, my titanium pans, though they're lighter, seem to take a little bit longer to uh, uh, boil water. Um, so I'm going to be running on a stainless steel pan. Um, we're going to uh, fire up the stove. Well, we'll transfer alcohol into the bottle. We'll fire up the stove, and after uh, the boil time is up, we will retransfer the alcohol left in the bottle back into the graduated fuel canister, and we'll see how much fuel we use. This water is currently 41 degrees, 42, 41, 42. Alright, let's prime this thing up. I've actually never used that method before. That butane was actually getting that generator tube down at the bottom hot enough to where you could see a slight red tinge to it. Uh, yeah, let's get this thing going. We're burning fuel. Clock has started. down underneath here and we'll take a look at this flame. That is one hot ass fucking flame. seconds.
two minutes, just over. And we're ready to do a fish eye boil. We'll check it at 2.30. Yep, she's boiling. Two minutes and 30 seconds for two cups of water. Yep, 212. It's probably actually boiling a little before two minutes and 30 seconds, but let's get this thing cut off. So I wasn't super fast on getting the water on, and I wasn't super fast at getting it shut back down. Um, did have a couple seconds of, uh, you know, after it primed, uh, let it run for a little bit, make sure that it, uh, that prime was good. So we didn't have any issues, um, but that's pretty freaking sick right there. You got two cups of water. I don't know what my overall time was. Um, my prime process wasn't super clean, super efficient. You know, um, I had to change hands and position uh, the lighter to a point that I felt was a little better for uh, heating up that generator tube and jet. Um, so there's a little downtime there. Um, prime time wise, I, you know, other than the, the saving of the fuel, I'm not sure that I really saved too much time on that particular aspect at that point. Um, this, this stove will prime in about, uh, in normal circumstances. If you let it go through its normal, uh, prime sequence, about a minute and 20 seconds to prime up. Um, uh, that's to prime, not to actually let it run and make sure that the prime has been established. So you add in all that, you're, you know, minute 45 or so before you're ready to, ready to cook. Alright. A little fuel loss there. There's a little fuel loss here from coming out of the, the uh, fuel line. And then you're going to have a little fuel loss when you open the bottle. And you're going to have a little fuel loss in your line. But let's see what we got. This is the most interesting part to me is seeing how much it actually burned in that short time period. I'm going to guess in a lot of ways alcohol mm, I don't know maybe less efficient than waste gas uh, just in the sense it burns more fuel but on the other side you burn faster hotter so what's the trade-off you know what do you got to think of uh, in comparison to other alcohol stoves like uh, the uh, the ones that are naturally aspirated uh, tin can stoves, whatever you want to call them, uh, homemade stoves. I mean, they got commercial models of alcohol stoves, but uh, non-pressurized versions. The ultralight. Anybody who knows backpacking knows what I'm talking about with those sorts of stoves. So, here we are. We're all done. And we'll get a real good look at this. It looks like it burned just under <coughs> yeah, I don't know if you can see that line yeah bow not quite an ounce I'm gonna say it's slightly more than three quarter maybe doesn't quite seem like seven eighths of an ounce but Maybe it's seven eighths between three quarters and seven eighths of an ounce. So uh, you take that in consideration. Anybody who knows anything about alcohol stoves, the naturally aspirated, the tuna can stoves, tin can stoves, soda can stoves, penny stoves, whatever you want to call them. Um, one ounce of fuel in those setups is going to burn you at least four to six minutes, I think, if I remember correctly. And for the most part, you cannot boil two cups of water 
in four minutes on one of those stoves, at least from my experience, from what I've seen. So, I mean, this rips uh, comparatively.